you know, you hear about Planned Parenthood and you're just like, I'll never do it, I'll never do it. And then when you're in that moment, all that changes. So I was 19 years old when I found out I was pregnant. I, I was just in a state of shock. Um, I cried for like four months. It was gonna be a very, very difficult time for me and I didn't know how to handle that. I didn't know who to reach out to. I didn't know if I would be able to do it by myself. And it was just an overwhelming experience for me. I, I needed help. Um, so I took it to Google and um, for some reason, Afro women just stuck out to me. Um, the counselors, they were there, you know, just to be, just to hug me, to hold me, you know, personally, I didn't have that. So coming here, it was just amazing for these women to just be so selfless. I would drop in there every single day and I would like really pour my heart out to one of the counselors and she knew that I had nowhere else to go. She said, you know what, you would be perfect for Heather's house. The day I moved into Heather's house, I just knew that this was gonna be my home. I just felt like I belonged here. You know, we all were young. You become like almost like sisters, you know, we really, we really needed each other and we leaned on each other when we, we needed that help. Um, there were times where we cried together, we laughed together, we didn't agree all the time, but you know, that's what happens when you're around a group of people that you really care about. All the women that work here, they wanted to help us and we, we saw they wanted to help us, so we reached out back to them. So the day I had Christian, I didn't know it was gonna be that hard. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't. Um, but once he arrived, I don't know how to explain it, but when you see your, your child for the first time, it's just, it's breathtaking. He was a part of me and he knew it, like he just filled me up. I always tell him, you fill my heart all the way up because he gives me that encouragement, he gives me that strength. He makes me feel like I can overcome any, any obstacle. I said, okay, Christian needs a future. My son needs a future. And the only way that I can do that is if I go to college. I um, did a little research and I found out about a scholarship and I didn't turn back after that. I want Christian to, to know love and to feel love and just have a better life. And I know that the steps that I'm taking right now will help him have that foundation, you know, to, to be what he wants to be and to do what he wants to do and be a strong, good man. Going through counseling services with Aid for Women and being a resident at Heather's house, it really built my character. Um, it really made me a strong young woman because when, before I came here, I wasn't strong at all. I was, I was kind of lost. I didn't know what direction I wanted to go with in my life, and um, I just really needed that, that love and that, you know, that 100% having my back, you know, being there for me, making sure that I'm okay, making sure my son's healthy. Even though it's been two years, I just feel like it really, it really makes you strong. Even if you feel like you're having a tough time here, it really makes you strong.